Hi, this is Zach with Warren Wound, and today we're taking a look at the Fortis Classic Cosmonautus Chronograph Ceramic AM version. So this is a watch that Fortis unveiled about two years ago at Bowser World uh, that we we're all very taken with. Uh, it is a spin on their classic Cosmonautus watch. Uh, a watch that, as the name Cosmonaut uh, indicates, has ties to uh, outer space, specifically the Russian space program. So the first version of this watch, which was in, uh, created in the mid-90s, I believe 1994, became the official watch for the Russian space program. And that version of the watch was actually powered by the Mania 5100 movement. I think it was a bit smaller. It had some very, you know, the basic overall look and feel was very similar to this. Uh, it was a cool watch. It's a collectible watch now. And they wanted to bring it back or in the spirit of it uh, a couple years ago. And they did so, uh, I think, with great success. So they brought out um, a couple different versions of this watch. So the name Ceramic AM actually refers to what you're specifically seeing here. The ceramic being the ceramic bezel. There's also a steel bezel version. And the AM being the lighter dial. There's also a black dial version. So the most close to the original would be a black dial with a steel bezel. But here we have kind of the inverse of that, the AM, the light silver dial with the black ceramic. The reason we chose this is because it's simply gorgeous. And I think we were all really taken with it when we first saw it at Basel. Particularly this combo of having the silver with the black ceramic, which has really popped. Uh, ceramic bezel, just very cool. This happened to come out the same year that the Rolex Daytona bezel, uh, ceramic bezel steel case uh, model came out. So it was just like a lot of buzz about uh, ceramic bezels. So seeing it on a much more affordable watch was just exciting. And uh, yeah, the overall look and feel of this watch just really uh, spoke to us and jumped out. So getting into the details now, it's a 42 millimeter case, solid steel case, of course, uh, 51 millimeter uh, lug to lug, and about 15.5 millimeters tall here. Uh, so sorry, 15 millimeters tall here. So you know, it's a it's a fairly tall chronograph, but it's an automatic chronograph powered by the Valju 7750, um, all within kind of the acceptable or standard amounts of, of height. And I think because of how it's shaped, it's fairly broken up that includes a domed sapphire crystal here and a domed case back. So it does not wear quite like a 15 millimeter watch. It's not like a solid slab sided 15 millimeters. Um, the case itself has some very nice finishing on it brushed top surfaces, rounded and sort of angled sides here. So you got a nice polish on the side. Um, that just kind of mixes it up a bit, makes it a little bit more uh, kind of an updated version and certainly, you know, a little bit more of like a daily wear style for this watch. Though the watch itself still exudes this kind of classic military, uh, almost pilot chronograph feel with it. Uh, of course, it has a tachometer bezel here in black ceramic filled with paint. Uh, it's a gorgeous looking bezel. Um, you know, it has a very kind of vintage feel to it. The black ceramic just has a nice materiality to it. It has a light texturing to it. I really like the fineness of the numerals. Um, it's just a very attractive element to the design. On the right side here, you have crowns for the actuating the uh, chronograph, of course, and, or sorry, pushers and the large uh, crown here. So as you'll notice, these are collared and they actually are screw down pushers. So in order to actuate it, like it's locked out right now, you do need to unscrew the collar and then you, know, then you can use the uh, chronograph. That's a design feature that I understand the concept of. Obviously, it, when it's screwed down, it'll prevent accidental use. If you're underwater, it'll prevent uh, you from using it. Um, on some watches, that would allow, let water in. Uh, it's also kind of a frustrating feature if you're not in those, any of those situations because you have to unscrew it. And I find when it's on the wrist and particularly unscrewing, it can just be kind of annoying. Um, but I do like the look of it. So. You know, not that I think they should fake it, but I just, that is just my opinion on kind of screw down pushers such as that. And a little strangely, the crown itself doesn't screw down. So I feel like if you're going to have it screwed down, make them all screw down. Um, but once again, that's just kind of pickiness. Looking now at the dial, um, this is one of those dials that the quality of the manufacturing, the printing, the texturing, 
I mean, you can see it from 10 feet away, but you can also see it really up close with a loop. And it's a dial I recommend looping if you get a chance. And that's not always something I recommend because you get really close in. I mean, close in the human eye can even really see. And sometimes things fall apart a little bit. Not on this dial. It is expertly made. I mean, as nice as it, they come. Here you'll see alphanumerical numerals. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. I really like that none of those get cut off. They're all applied. Beautiful mint green loom on those with black edging. Really, really fine printing there, which is really nice. And then at the poles, you have a triangle and rectangles giving a little bit of a cross dial or crosshair dial feel. Just really nice balance there. I think this watch, you know, has just exceptional proportions. 42 millimeters, once again, for the case is, you know, I think a nice top size for a sport chronograph. And here they really utilize the space very well. Um, looking in now, you have uh, sub registers at 12, 6, and 9, the standard 7750 layout, day date at 3. All really looks nice, very balanced, and the textures on this dial, I think, are really what part of makes it uh, part of what makes it shine. So you have a sun ray bursting on this kind of a steel surface in the center, and then that goes out to a radial sort of texturing on the side where you have this other index, and then each of those sub registers are stamped down and feature concentric circular uh, graining there, so they have a slightly different finish as well. Then you have some beautiful pops of orange here. If I start this up, you can see that again. Uh, you have the classic Cosmonautis here above the register at six in uh, orange. Then you have these two chronograph hands in orange and the chronograph seconds hand. So it ties all the chronograph uh, functions together with a color, which is something I always like to see. I think that's a really logical way of designing a sport watch like this. And that exact color of orange just works beautifully with that mint green. Um, I think they just did an exceptional job with that. Black sword hands then pop off the dial, extremely high visibility, uh, great proportioning. I mean, there's really nothing I find any fault with on this dial. I think it's uh, just easily one of the most attractive uh, dial chronograph dials I've seen in some time. Quickly flipping the watch over, you can see there's a display case back. Here you'll see the 7750, not overly decorated or at all, so it's a pretty standard looking one. There is, however, this massive rotor here that they did some customization to, and it's pretty cool looking. It says Fortis on it since uh, 1912 Swiss, world's first manufacturer of automatic wristwatches, which uh, I, I take their word for it. I feel like I've heard that from other people as well, but they put it here in blue, so it must be true. Either way, uh, great movement here to see. Looking at the watch now on the wrist, um, I think you'll see it fits my wrist very well. Uh, seven inch wrist, the 42 millimeter case, I don't think it's too big, 51 millimeters, not too long. Um, it's getting towards the end of my wrist, but it curls down nicely. Um, it's definitely bold. It's definitely a, it, like a very sturdy looking watch. But then again, it is a sport watch, a uh, chronograph that is meant to go to space, if you will. Um, so, you know, it, it gets, uh, gets away with a little extra bulk. Well, I think this looked, this watch just looks amazing. I mean, um, I can't think of another watch that really has this sort of color combination, uh, this sort of look and feel. Uh, you know, we see a lot of pilots watches, a lot of military watches, and this just takes everything and spins it a little bit uh, to make something just really unique uh, and beautiful. Uh, the strap here, 20 millimeter strap, there's a leather option and a bracelet option. Obviously here's the leather, heavily padded strap. I mean, that thing's like armor, uh, kind of a nice golden sort of tan color. I think it works really well actually with the colors here. Obviously you could put um, different straps on here for different styles. Something nice and kind of vintage and simple would actually look pretty cool on this. Um, so yeah, overall great looking watch, exceptional build quality, but I think the best thing about it is actually the price. This watch comes in at $1,790, which is kind of unbelievable for a modern Swiss-made automatic chronograph. Um, you know, that's getting into Swatch Group prices, and I think you're getting actually, uh, frankly, a better-made watch than you might at that price um, from some of the Swatch Group brands. You know, this is a just a, a small batch made uh, a watch as well, Fortis. Um, is not a huge company. We've spoken to them before. We have a great podcast with the uh, marketing manager and he'll tell you they themselves, they QC everything. They look at everything. You know, it's a very kind of personalized company. So getting that level, level of attention to detail, uh, level of craft and at that price, $1,790, um, absolutely killer package. So if you're looking for a cool uh, chronograph, mechanical chronograph, something with some unique looks, some military looks, some pilot looks, but not, you know, something from a kind of a cookie cutter mold of a pilot watch, definitely check this out. <laughs>